peak hour traffic is enough to make the most patient drivers see red. The traffic's just too congested in peak hour. I'm almost late every day to get to work. Now the commute through one busy city intersection is under surveillance. Every car, bus, cyclist or pedestrian logged in real time. This will be the future for cities, having these sorts of sensors, having this sort of technology so that we can better map what's going on on our roads. The advanced sensors set up on Poultney and Grenfell Street are tracking the speed and location of all users. It's a world-first trial which aims to address problems with traffic flow without major road makeovers. That's the exciting thing. We can immediately relieve congestion for an order or two magnitude lower cost. The sensors known as a LiDAR contain eight laser beams that can distinguish between different types of road users and track them at a rate of 10 times per second. There are six placed strategically near the traffic lights to provide a 360 degree view of the area. The data collected can then be used to adjust traffic light signaling to suit the conditions at the time. That might mean that we can better time uh, our uh, green lights uh, at our intersections and look those up better through the city and give people better travel times. The sensors could be permanently installed around intersections and even on top of traffic lights to record continuous data, including crash statistics. 25% to 30% of accidents and fatalities occur at a, an intersection. Um, so smoothing out the uh, congestion um, would obviously alleviate a lot of that. The six-day trial of the sensors ends on Saturday, but if successful, the state government says it would consider using them to monitor traffic at other intersections. We'll wait to see what the study shows us, what the findings are with the traffic movements in the coming weeks and months. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.